Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you a very simple way to set up your Google My Business listing here. So if you have a business that has a physical location like a restaurant or a service business, this is really a must have. And if you're doing it for a client as well, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to do this. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to go to google.com slash business. This will bring you over here to this page. And instead of press manage now, since we don't have one just yet, I'm gonna press sign in right here on top to create my business listing. Now, it will automatically either log you to your Google account or it might bring you to the sign in page here. If you don't have a Google account, for example, if you don't have a YouTube account or a Gmail account, you could actually create a Google account here or just signing to your existing Google account here. If you don't have one, you could just go ahead and press manage for my business here and then create your Google account. Now, this is not related to the my business listing that we're gonna set up, but it's something that is required, which is a Google account. Now, most people have it, but I did wanna bring up this page to show you that if you don't have one, this is exactly where to create one. But in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in already since I have one. And once you sign in, it's gonna bring you to this page, and this is a very important thing to pay attention to you need to try to find your existing business because in some cases it's already there on Google. And if it is, you want to search for it. And if it's not, we're gonna add it. In most cases, it's not going to be, but you don't wanna duplicate your listing. So make sure you type your business name over here to see if it already exists. I'll show you with an example of a business I have that already exists. So this one already exists. So if I created another one, it will just duplicate this listing and create confusion for my customer. So in most cases, you will go ahead and type your business name and it says create a business with this name. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this business doesn't exist on Google. And if you press it here or add your business to Google, it takes you to the exact same place. Okay, so on this page, we're gonna start building our business profile. So your business name is what I just chose on the last page, but you can go ahead and change that over here if you wanted to. Business category is an important section because you wanna make sure that Google knows what type of business this is, so it'll help you easier get found in search. So in this case, I do social media marketing, so I'll choose marketing agency here or marketing consultant. Now you can add more later and you could even change this one here. So this is not critical that you get this right, but again, you don't want something that has nothing to do with your business. You wanna be as accurate as possible. Press next. Now, if you have a physical location and you want people to come to your store, for example, or to your restaurant or to your office, you wanna choose yes here. But in that case, your location will show up on Google Maps as a specific location. Let me show you an example. So if you say yes, it will show a dot like this, like this red dot here, and it will show an exact address of your company. If you choose no, it will show a service area. So if you wanna basically service multiple different cities around you, this might be better than just pressing yes and having a specific location. And this way, if I have a home business, for example, I will press no. Let's press next. So based on that, now I could say what areas I serve here. So I could go ahead and type in Chicago and type that, but I could use multiple different location that I serve using this page. So add a few here, and you could always add more later to these settings as well. I'll press next. What contact details do you want to show for your customer? So obviously in my case, I do want to show my website. So go ahead and type in a website if you have one. And if you don't have one, I do have videos showing you how to create websites for free. So I'll link those below as well. And then type in your mobile phone number. And in my case, I usually use a Google voice number. So I have a different number than my personal number for here. This is asking you if you want updates. I'm gonna press no and I'll press next. Now, the way Google verifies your Google My Business listing is by sending you something in the mail. It has a number on it that you would have to type in to verify. So the address is hidden from the public. This is just to Google so they could send you that specific thing in the mail. You could also choose verify later too if you wanna skip this step for now. Then on the next page, it's gonna ask you to add your services, right? So it's gonna give you some options over here and you could go ahead and press plus sign if you wanted to add those as well or you could add custom services, meaning you could just type in exactly what you do. So digital marketing is what we do social media marketing. So I could type in these manually here. So I don't do any telemarketing, but as a marketing consultant, 
these are the other services as well and then press next and you have your business hours pretty straightforward here just type in your open and close time if i have a physical location where this matters so i'll just go ahead and leave it open for monday through friday press next this adds a new section here for customers to message your business so you can leave that here or you could turn it off if you don't want that option i'm going to turn it off here because I'll have customers call me or email me or visit my website. And here is the description for your businesses. So this is like what the about us section on your website would be, for example. And then go ahead and press next. And then you can add photos to your business. This is pretty straightforward, but make sure you use as many realistic photos from your actual business as possible instead of just looking up stock photos like these. And once you add a few photos, go ahead and press next. And this is related to a credit you get to run Google ads here. And I do have a complete dedicated video to Google ads as well as YouTube ads where you could go ahead and spend this credit. So if you want to learn more about how the advertising for your business works, make sure you watch those videos that are linked below as well. But I'm going to skip this for now for the credit. And your business profile is almost ready. So I'll press continue. And there are a few more things on this page once you go through the setup process that you need to set up because right now we're only 60% complete. So those things right here are add contact info. So click that. And if you did not add a phone number, make sure you add a phone number over here. And then you'll need to also add a logo. So I'm going to go ahead and add a logo here, which brings you to this page where your logo and your cover. And even if you have a video, they'll have to all be added over here. I'll go ahead and choose a logo here that I know is the right size. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it fits in this box over here and go ahead and press set logo. Now, if you don't have a cover or if you don't even have a logo yet, you could come to this platform called Canva and create anything from logos to banners and everything else that you would use for your business listing and other social media platforms as well. Now, if you don't have a video, I do have videos that show you how to create one or you could hire video production companies to create one for you. Actually, my other business news study films, that's exactly what we do there. And here back on the homepage, anything else that you need to do to complete your business profile will show up over here. And the last thing you need to do is if you skip verification is press verify. And again, you'll type in your mailing address here to verify. And usually it might take up to a week for you to get that number here that you'll type in. So once that comes in, you basically come over here and it will ask you again with this box to verify this business. And once that's all set, your business listing will be live. Now you're not gonna obviously rank on the top page of Google right away, but make sure you go through this all the time and add as much information as you can and then learn about Google and YouTube ads here to create ads to promote this business. I hope you found this useful. Please give this video a thumbs up. Check out the videos in the description below for more resources for your business, and I'll see you next time.